Add it all up. You don't have the money to do this stuff. I can never spend, but she spends money like it grew on trees. When he wants to go and do something, then I'll say we can't afford it. I take cash advances from the credit card, but I do it to get back at her. Faster. <laughs> My name is Liz, I'm a dental hygienist and I make 70,000 a year. My name is Will, I'm a truck driver, I make 35,000 a year and I have a 10 month old son named Jack. We've refinanced our mortgage two or three times. Some lines of credit used for a wedding and some home renovations and that kind of thing. So we've been throwing more and more of our debt into our mortgage. I do not know the finances because I choose not to. I'm in charge of the money and Will doesn't even know the password to log into our internet banking. When I went on maternity leave, we didn't change our lifestyle. Anything we needed that we didn't have money in the bank account for, we put on the line of credit. If I'm bored at home, we go shopping. It's like a sport. <laughs> I always spend a lot of money on clothes, clothes for the baby, clothes for herself. I'm an impulse buyer. I can't even shop online because I can't wait for it to come in the mail. <laughs> she will hide clothes. <laughs> she will just come home with them in her purse instead of in the bag. Will's habits are more cash. Yeah, I take cash advances from the credit card. A lot of it goes summertime to golfing going out to the pub. She does come down on me hard for spending what little money I do spend, yet spends money like it grew on trees. I'll say we can't afford it, so I think that, that maybe <laughs> builds up a little bit of resentment from him to me. It is kind of demeaning. It's almost like I didn't leave home, still asking my mom for money. <laughs> I am unhappy. We were the type that could finish each other's sentences. Now we don't really know what we're talking about to each other when we do. Our relationship is suffering. My biggest fear would be knowing that what we once had is gone. If we ended up separating, I don't want to ever do that to our kids. I'm most afraid that I'm not going to be able to take care of my son. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Liz and Will have been playing hide and seek with their debt. Now they're stuck in a house they've all grown. And with 475,000 kilometers on these cars, they're not gonna last forever. These high school sweethearts need a solid plan to stop them drifting apart. Knock, knock! I'm Liz, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you, Liz. Will? Nice to meet you, Will. How long have you been in this house? Probably about five years, going on six years. Did you just buy this couch? Yes. You people are in debt and you went and bought a couch? Yeah. And you put it on buy now, pay later, let me guess. Yes. Your ceiling is falling down. So just wait here to be yelled at. <sighs> this is what happens when you don't have a door on your bathroom. You have a few things that need to be done around here. Your bathroom needs a door. We have no money. Oh, no money. I don't know. Did you go buy any clothes this week? I can't remember. remember. The thing is, you know, you go into your closets and there doesn't appear to be that much stuff. I get tired of things, I'll wear things once or twice, and then I don't have a lot of space, and if I'm not wearing it anymore, they get given away to charity. You can't buy anything, no. but the dog has outfits. Yes. What do you want from your life that you're not getting right now? I want security for the future and for our family and for my son. Okay. I was just kind of overcome by thinking about how I could be potentially harming my son and my husband's future. I see you not being able to distinguish between a need and a want to save your lives. And the deceit and the resentment growing as a result of it is huge. So when we first look at your debt, it doesn't look so bad. $16,500, not bad at all. Which is what makes you comfortable going out and doing a buy now, pay later for $2,100, because it's not that bad. 
What's missing from this is the $39,500 that you've consolidated into the mortgage, which means your real debt, when we stop hiding it, is $56,000. Don't look so good no more, huh? No. You're surprised, because you've been buying her story. The $56,000 was a little hard to swallow. Shocking to realize that there's actually that much money just being thrown away. What you did was you consolidated actual consumer debt in the house, mm -hmm. which is why you owe more now on the house than you paid for the house, which is just ludicrous. This is a one month snapshot of your shopping. None of these amounts in and of themselves is a problem. You know, so what if you drop $7.32 in the fast food restaurant? It's not a lot of money. Go ahead and add up the $40 and the $7 and the $20 and the $21. You don't have the money to do this stuff. And you're so rich that you're prepared to drop $900 in one month in clothes. The clothing number blew me away. I actually thought it was going to be higher. <laughs> $41.50. That would be an interact fee and a cash advance. Mm. How much of that is your passive aggressive way of telling Liz you're not going to take her crap anymore? 99.9%. .9 I can't lie about it. That's, uh, that's, I do it to get back at her. When you take a cash advance on a credit card, you pay interest on that money from the moment you take the money out. It's a pretty expensive way for Will to pay for a boy's night out. Add it all up. On average, you have been overspending every month by $1,600. And if you were to keep it up in five years, you'd be $360,000 in the hole twice this house. So is that what you want to do? No. So you'll do anything I ask you to do? We will do anything. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to give you a series of challenges to do. You do the challenges to my satisfaction. I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you pay down this debt. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money. You have the wrong attitude, you don't get the money. We're going to cut back on your spending so that we can balance your budget. We're going to get you planning for the things that you need. And we're going to get you guys communicating again so that the deceit and the resentment doesn't just totally erode the relationship. Okay? The very next thing you need to do is you need to get me your debit cards and your credit cards because you are going to learn to live on cash. Scram. I was so embarrassed and I didn't want to do it. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Liz and Will have been racking up debt since day one of their marriage. Our wedding, home renovations, going out. We were using our lines of credit like they were income. Add it all up. $2,500 every month for crap. Now they've rolled so much debt into their mortgage, they owe more than they paid for the house. The debt, <laughs> it's going one way, the wrong way. For Liz and Will and their credit, it's the end of the line. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I will reward them with thousands of dollars to pay down their debt. No changes, no money. I am going to cut your spending by 53% from about $2,400 a month, which is what you were spending, to about $1,100 a month. And this is how it's going to play out. You will have $125 a week for food, $87.50 for transportation, $25 a week for entertainment, this is the best part. <laughs> you will have $5 a week for clothing and gifts. $20 a month compares to the $900 you were spending. And $33.75 for everything else, including things like your pet food. The clothing and gift one is the one that kind of was like, ooh. Which brings us to your first challenge, yay! You need to feel the weight of the debt so that it's something you actually are strongly motivated to get rid of. To this end, I have some bling for you. <laughs> okay, so here are the rules with regard to the bling. You have to wear them from morning till night. You may take it off to go to sleep. This is your house poor bling because you have taken all your debt 
and wrapped it up in your house. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. yeah. Dead is just a word when you put something like this on your body. I'm going to do everything I can to get rid of it. Is that enough of a challenge for you? <laughs> <laughs> That's not enough. Okay. Future plan challenge. Figure out what you need to do to this house to raise the value of this house. To that end, I'm going to send you an expert. You need to create a plan and you have to come up with how you're going to pay for it all. Liz and Will hope to sell this house and move into a larger one as their family grows. I've enlisted the help of Realtor Michael, who has helped many homeowners increase the value of their homes for resale. Probably one of the biggest things I would suggest that, that, that you folks can do to add some value to your house would be the kitchen. Okay. Uh, for $2,000, you could go to a hardware store, a building supply store, and get a, a do-it-yourself type of kitchen. My next suggestion is that for a limited amount of money, put the plumbing and the electrical here, now we can sell this as a main floor laundry, and that's huge. I'd be concerned it's gonna fall down, so my suggestion would be that we had to get this re drywall. Okay, it's gonna cost probably about $1,000, but it'll add a brand new look to this room. Mm. Okay, so there's no bathroom door on here. That's huge to a potential buyer coming in here, okay? okay? It was a big relief to hear that for very little money, we could do everything that needed to be done, and yet, you know, add more value to the house. Once Liz goes back to work after her maternity leave, they can pay for the renovations by each taking on extra shifts. They estimated that at about... 250. 250. I do two extras and you do two extras. That should give us $1,000. I think you said $300 to supply door. and install the door. One extra One shift. One shift for me. That's the first time that we've actually put a plan in motion and not have to put it on a credit card or scrounge up the money really quick. It was very encouraging to be able to see that you know your goals are going to be reached within this amount of time. To know that within two months we could have had it fixed. I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing it a long time ago. So were you surprised when you went around the house at what has to be done and what it's going to cost? A lot of it was cosmetic stuff. You didn't realize how easy it would be just to deal with it. Yep. Yeah. And what did people have to say about this? They laughed at us. Yes. The first time that we wore our chains out, I was so embarrassed and I didn't want to do it. Has it made you more aware? Oh, like, yeah. Has it been a good physical yes. manifestation of yeah. the debt? Good. So yeah. it served its purpose. Yep. All right. So wear it for one more week and then you can take it off. <laughs> really? No, seriously. You can take it off now. <laughs> as long as you got the point, that's OK. <laughs> OK. Future plan challenge is this week's challenge. OK. You've been managing the money. Mm -hmm. It's a huge weight on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. It's time for Will to take over. You have been living your life in sort of a reactive state. I have in your budget $350 in additional money for transportation to either keep the cars you have on the road or, ta-da, buy a new car. So you are going to take over the management of the money. You decide the best way to use that $350 to proactively manage what will likely be your next emergency, which will be your transportation. OK, but that's not all. <laughs> you're the girl who likes to go shopping. Yeah. Well, this week, I'm going to give you $20, and you're going to go shopping in the place where you usually donate your clothes. OK. Ew! Really? <laughs> oh, look at his face. He's just <laughs> radiating. Mm -hmm. You have to make a great outfit. I want to see it next week. She's always been, if it's not designer, it's not worth buying. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Liz has been in charge of the money, but it hasn't worked out that well for her and husband, Will. You have been overspending every month by $1,600. I feel a lot of guilt about being responsible for most of our debt. If they can complete the challenges I've designed to straighten them out, I'll give them up to $5,000 to help them pay down their debt. This week, it's all about turning the tables. I'm going to give you $20, and you're going to go shopping in the place where you usually donate your clothes. Next, Liz has to give control of their finances to Will. If you're well organized, it's easier to track the money. So I've given Will an office in a box to help him see the big picture. It has crossed my mind that maybe she's not good at handling the money. And with some help from me, we could probably get a better grip on it. Now that he's aware of the numbers, 
Will has to decide if the extra $350 in their budget for transportation can help them replace one of their older cars. What would you like to have in, the, in a vehicle? Uh, I'm looking for an SUV. Can I show you a couple other vehicles that will offer the same things you're looking for in an SUV? Because I, I don't think the SUV is going to match the budget you're after. What you got to look at, too, is you get an SUV, you're going to get 10 miles per gallon less as far as your, your mileage. What's your insurance going to be? Because an SUV traditionally is more expensive to insure than cars. It's reality versus expectations. You may have just talked me out of an SUV <laughs> and changed my mind, so. Meanwhile, the idea of shopping for used clothing wasn't nearly as intriguing for Liz. I think it's a little bit gross to wear other people's clothes. I was against it for the first part of even coming to the store, but actually once I saw that there's a lot more selection than I thought there would be, and a lot of more name brands than I thought there would be, so yeah, I was pretty surprised. Okay, it's $19.20, please, would you like a bag? Mm. Um, I definitely think I'll shop here again. I was actually checking out the baby stuff. <laughs> Well, that's too adorable. For under $20, it yeah. actually is possible. <laughs> so do you think you'll keep this up? Yeah. I've made a convert? Yeah. New cars! What did you find out? Um, they're not as expensive as I thought they were, and that it's probably doable. But see how that all involves process? Mm -hmm. That it's not just a matter of walking into a store and going, oh, I'll take one of those. Yeah. You're managing the money. Yep. It's not as tough as I thought it would She's be. She's still fighting you for control? Um, a little bit, here yeah. and there. But I made him open the bills yesterday when they came in. <laughs> See, there's the thing. You have to be a team. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to your next challenge, which is your relationship rescue challenge. Catch. This is the kind of juggling that you're going to be doing with Will. Stop. When this gets hard is when you have to tell each other your deepest, darkest secrets while you do it. So all those secrets you may have been keeping from each other, it's all got to come out. You're going to learn to partner juggle. If you're not working together, everything will fold out. I opened a secret credit card. Money, 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 money. Spending money behind each other's backs has been a costly game for Liz and Will. Is the $39,500 consolidated into the mortgage? By constantly juggling their debt and never saving for anything, their entire married life has ended up on credit. If you were to keep it up in five years, you'd be $360,000 in the hole twice this house. For their next challenge, they're going to have to do a different kind of juggling while revealing the last of their secrets. I'm hoping there's not going to be too many surprises, but you never know. Liz, Will, how you doing? Good. Good. You? Good. My name's Kaylin. We're going nice to uh, you. teach you guys to juggle today. I hear you need to work on some teamwork skills, and juggling is a great uh, thing to do that with. It's really important that you are communicating and seeing the whole picture of all the balls that are being thrown between you, and that you trust each other. If you concentrate too much on your own pattern or the other person's pattern, then it, you're going to make a mistake. I think she's having us share secrets with each other because if we're more open with each other, then um, it'll definitely improve our relationship. Hopefully, Liz will realize that maybe she needs to start listening instead of talking more. I think she it's argues good to the that point where you don't see my side of the story. You're not really giving any direction when things go wrong. I would like for things to not be such an argument when I do speak up. I opened a secret credit card that you don't know about. <laughs> You have nothing to escape to. You're just constantly throwing balls back at each other. So without it, I don't think that he would have probably ever voiced <laughs> what he was thinking. I knew that you were going to propose to me way before you did. Well, how could you not have? Your family was pressuring the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, is that why you asked me to marry you? <laughs> yeah, I was forced into the whole thing. Bastard. <laughs> We should do all our arguments juggling balls in our hands. <laughs> How has the whole process been for you? Awesome. Really? <laughs> yes. No more secrets? No. Nope. No more hiding your spending? No more cash advances? Mm -hmm. No. We've made quite a bit of progress this month. I'm very pleased. When I got here, you were over spending about $1,600 a month, and you guys were doing the tit-for-tat game. Mm -hmm and headed to about $360,000 worth of debt. Stay on the debt repayment plan that I've created for you. You'll be consumer debt free in nine months. 
I can't imagine ever being debt free, <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm pretty excited about it. Once their consumer debt is gone, I recommend they take their debt repayment amount and use it to make prepayments against their mortgage so they can rebuild their equity. We also set aside $200 a month in your budget for emergencies mm -hmm. and $600 a month for savings because neither of you have a pension. Mm -hmm. You stick to that plan and in 35 years you'll have $1.2 million. Sweet. That's what you want to do. <laughs> I never thought we'd be in this good of a position, not on our own anyways. Yeah. We cut your spending so that your overspending is a thing of the past, that you're planning for the future, for the things that you'll need. Mm -hmm. And we stopped the secrets mm -hmm. and got you working together again. Mm -hmm. So I have for you $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You're thank welcome, you. but you know what? That's not all. There you go, a couple's massage. Nice. <laughs> Enjoy. It's brought us back to, I think, the way we were before. That juggling challenge showed us that we can discuss things. Okay, show me. <laughs> okay. <laughs>